One final time here, we'll grab both arms and then do one big traction pull to even out both sides we just stretched. Moving on to the legs, we will bring our right elbow underneath the right knee and begin to compress right knee towards the chest, lubricating the hip joint. We'll take some circles. And again, this is just kind of a natural range of motion, natural movement between the therapist and the client on the table. Hooking the elbow underneath the knee creates an easier way to stretch the client. As well as takes the weight load off of the therapist. We're coming into a spinal twist here. So draping that leg all the way across and reaching for the right arm. Creating a spinal twist here by pushing into the left glute and pulling the right arm at the same time. We'll hold this twist for however long is needed, massaging through the glute and the low back to help aid in low back relief for our client. Both feet come straight. And we'll come into another Thai yoga move. So we are going to hold the ankle and the top of the foot. And then using your right foot, you're going to press into the hamstring. So as you can see, the arch of the foot is on the belly of the hamstring. And all I'm doing is straightening my leg and pulling their leg to create a compression. It should feel like nice traction in the ankle, as well as a really deep compression for the right leg. We're doing all that on the other side now, so hooking your left arm underneath their right leg, creating some circles to lubricate the hip joint, and then eventually bringing it across the body, coming in for a spinal twist. Once we have the client in the twist, we then reach for their right arm, which is underneath them. We grab the wrist, they grab our wrist, and we begin to gently press into the right hip and pull the left arm. Excuse me, I was incorrect. That's the left hip that we're compressing and we're pulling the right arm. We compress here for however long feels good for the client. And then we bring them back to center. So we're moving into this on the other side. Compressing all the way down through that left hip and hamstring with the arch of the foot. Creating traction by pulling underneath the ankle and the top of the foot while pressing through your arch into their hamstring. This should feel great. We'll 
We'll bring our client's right leg to a figure four. Left leg stays straight as we aid in stretching all the way through this hamstring. Now you can use your right knee to compress their hamstring a little bit. You can also put their left foot into the crease of your thigh, grabbing their hands and then pulling and then releasing their hands and continuing to compress the foot that is on the thigh to get an even deeper stretch into the piriformis. Again, we hold this for as long as feels good for the client, compressing with the knee just slightly onto the hamstring. And then whenever they're ready, we release. Switching legs for a figure four pigeon stretch on this side, bringing that opposite leg to the hip, having them pull up, reach and push. Again, the client's hands are holding your wrists and you are holding your client's wrists in return. This creates a really solid lock to pull them up. And then we let them release back down. We continue to compress through the leg giving an even deeper stretch through the piriformis. Maybe using the leg to compress the hamstring as well. And after a few good deep stretches and deep breaths here, then we slowly let the client release, coming back to laying flat on the table. You'll grab under, so, underneath both of the feet, pushing up, coming into a facilitated shoulder stand without the hips lifting. So almost like a modified waterfall. We're pushing through the heels. The client's feet are flexing towards the face. We ask the client to keep their hips down on the floor as we work their toes towards their face. You can add some reciprocal inhibition, having them pressed back onto you. Then we begin to lift our client's hips completely. We seat our knees underneath their glutes and then taking them out into a butterfly position with your thighs underneath their hips. We create a bit of a bridge here and begin to gently just compress the inner thighs all the way up to the hip creases. Soles of the feet are doing their best to stay together on the client. Bringing the knees together, we compress towards the face and then take our client into happy baby, pushing even further. Slowly we release this, and then we ask our client to roll over onto their back. As the client comes to lay face down, we begin to use our knees and carefully we will come to the client's calves and very, very gently compress, either using the knees or the palms and the calves and then fully lifting yourself up onto their thighs and compressing the knees into the hamstrings. You can use your hands to walk up the back, being mindful of the spine, not compressing directly into the center of the back, but walking the outsides of the palms all along the outsides of the spine. You'll slide your right knee underneath their left leg. And then we turn their knee out to the side, stretching through the obturator, the piriformis, the gemellus, all of those deep glute 
muscles and everything around the sacrum. You notice again that it's just gentle movement, nothing too intense. You use the lifting of your thigh to create a slight back bend effect for the client. And then moving to the other side, we continue with that same sequence, sliding your knee underneath, turning your right knee out to the side as if they were in laying down tree, lubricating the hip joint completely. And then when you feel the client is ready, maybe a few more moments, we shake it out and plant the leg back down onto the table. Finally, we compress the glutes. We have them grab our wrists and our hands once again, and we pull our client back for an assisted cobra as our final pec and chest opener. Compress their back, come off of the client, and gently begin to shake it out. So slowly, just creating a little bit of a vibrational effect before we ask our client to come into child's pose. We stretch our client's hips back towards the heels, pinning underneath the shoulder blades and pushing down all the way through the sacrum, creating deep traction in the lumbar spine. Our client will be here for however long feels good. And then when they're ready, we'll slowly ask them to roll up, take a few cat and cows, and assess how they feel. Thanks for joining me today. Any questions or comments, please feel free to ask me. Bye.